objection to the proposition that the internet is a human right has less to do with the nature of the internet than to the idea of a human right. Let me give you an example from the United States. The First Amendment right is freedom of expression. Second is the right to bear arms. Why do you want to bear arms in the first place unless you've got something to protect? But we actually live in a world where a large number of people have yet to actually have secure water, have to, you know, secure food, have, you know, a secure place to live. This myth goes in the barrel and burns. Higher penetration leads to more enlightened people. Look at the habits of the people who are at the top end of what we're talking about here. And it does not follow necessarily that these people are in the forefront of any kind of major social transformation. If anything, they are very stable. We start making arguments about trying to make things into human rights. What we're really arguing about is trying to make human beings better than they are. And my fear is that the internet actually encourages this kind of stabilization. Echo chambers, mm. right, and, 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 and filter bubbles. And Everyone uses the internet equally. Making something a human right basically, pr potentially, provides a kind of amplifier for those who are already able and willing to move ahead. Mm -hmm. And then the others who really weren't part of the scene in the first place would be left behind. This myth has been burned. Yeah.